Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to How To Be A Boss channel and today I want to talk to you about why billionaire men even want to marry in modern times. These billionaires have probably spent a great deal of time working extremely hard to get into the position of being a billionaire through their business or work which means they, they've had to sacrifice a lot of social time. The immediate answer for some of these men is to suddenly marry a woman to fill the void that they have been missing through working so much. Whilst marriage does have some benefits, I think that the downsides for these men are so big that they can be signing away half of their business in the pursuit of social excellence in the form of marriage. An example of this is Jeff Bezos' divorce. The world's biggest divorce settlement will be made official this week as Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos hands over a 4% stake in the online shopping giant to his soon-to-be ex-wife Mackenzie Bezos. A judge is expected to sign legal papers transferring the Amazon shares worth $38 billion into Mackenzie Bezos' name. It is by some distance the largest divorce settlement in history. The previous record was $2.5 billion paid to Jocelyn Wildenstein when she divorced art dealer Alec Wildenstein in 1999. Following the settlement, Mackenzie Bezos, 49, an author, will become the fourth richest woman and has already promised to give away at least half of her fortune. Mackenzie, who married Jeff in 1993, a year before he started Amazon from his garage in Seattle, has said she had a disproportionate, a disproportionate amount of money to share and promised to work hard at giving it away until the safe is empty. Another example of a high profile divorce is Rupert, Rupert Murdoch. In 2013, media mogul Murdoch and his former wife Anna divorced after a marriage of 32 years and three children together. The couple split up in 1999. Under the settlement, $1.7 billion of Rupert's fortune, which included $110 million in cash, went to Anna. I understand that sometimes these billionaire men have worked so much in their lives that they feel that they have missed out on the social side of life. They see all their friends and family who are a similar age get married and start a family that they don't want to get left behind. These men see the rose-tinted view that all, all the marriages that they are seeing are perfect and don't have any problems and want to be involved in something similar. They forget about the everyday problems that couples face regarding life, especially when the couple is not wealthy, and become sad at their lack of social life and family. Having a family is also one of the reasons why billionaires rush up the aisle as they want to have someone to pass their wealth on to but have the joys of parenthood alongside their career success as well. Another factor why these billionaire men get married is that they might be tired of looking for a wife or girlfriend on the social scene or the social circles that they inhabit. Billionaires will attract a fair degree of undesirable women who they don't want to date. And picking through these women will not be a very enjoyable experience as many of the women will probably be after their clout, success or money. The thoughts of having to go through many dates to find the right woman will probably turn these billionaire men off and having the security of a woman 
always by your side, convinces these billionaires to marry. The guarantee of regular sex with the same woman, without the need to chase women around, is probably very appealing as well. However, as most married men know, the amount of sex reduces once you get married to your woman. So this can be a false fallacy. I don't think that it would be too difficult for a billionaire man to create a social circle with many attractive women and men where they could socialize as business success creates a lot of respect with people. Rather than commit to one woman in haste, they could date the elite women in their social circles until they find the right one to commit to. An example of this is the soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo who is very wealthy, close to a billionaire and he has never married yet even though he could tomorrow or the famous actor Leonardo DiCaprio who again hasn't married but has dated many women and these two men have not found their ideal match so they're not willing to settle and just choose any particular girl. If having a family is an issue then these billionaire men can always find a surrogate mother and have a child that way as it would not diminish his value at all. If you have money then I don't think having regular sex will be much of a problem either as there will be women throwing themselves at these billionaires. There is also no prize if you, ha if you have a long marriage but there are serious ramifications if you are not successful at marriage for a billionaire as you'll lose half of your hard-earned fortune to a woman and potentially pay alimony for the rest of your life. In conclusion, I personally don't understand why a billionaire man would need to marry. He has a successful career and more than enough money to live and enjoy himself. He can have several girlfriends if he wants to and can have children through a surrogate mother if he doesn't find the right woman. He can also create a high value social circle through his business contacts and attend the latest events and parties that he wants to. Why risk losing half of your fortune and reputation for a marriage that might not work when you consider the high divorce rates in the world.